What is going down everyone? It is Nova and look at this. I'm bringing you guys some gameplay again because it has been actually a really really long time and I have not put out a gameplay for you guys and I am sorry about that but I am back and I'll be putting out gameplays almost every day now guaranteed. No actually that's a lie I'm not gonna say that. Uh, let's go with a couple times a week but we are playing some domination on hijack. I'm actually playing with my friend Ricky, who is actually supposed to be doing a live commentary with me for this one because this was basically his game. Not on the game, but he was just doing so much better than me during the match. Because uh, they can't hold him back. They <laughs> they really cannot hold him back. These niggas can't hold him back. Oh my god, look at that guy try to try to get me. He was trying to he was trying to stab Nova, but you know. You will never be able to stab me because the knives in this game are just awful. But hopefully Infinity Ward can do something good with Call of Duty Ghost. If you guys haven't actually realized, they did actually put out another teaser. If you go to CallDuty.com, you will see there's a new teaser picture up. They have a co couple of coordinates and the coordinates locate to somewhere in Venezuela. I'll put the link in the description below. And you guys can check that out. Ooh, look at that C4. Toss! Damn, get that C4 sandwich. But the coordinates actually lead to Venezuela, so maybe that's a part in the game. Because they actually lead to a couple different places over the world. Maybe that's where the multiplayer maps are going to be. I don't know. They're really keeping things tight for this new Call of Duty. I just I just hope that it's just not as bad as Black Ops 2. Because I really, really do not want to be playing Black Ops 2 for two years. Two years because I will I'll be very sad. Oh my god, another C4 toss. Damn. Damn, I'm just doing good with these C4 tosses. That C4 sandwich. But school is almost over for me this year, you guys. I am about to finish school on Wednesday is my last final. And after that, there will be no more school for me. And I'll be starting college. It has been a long, I don't even know how many years I've been in school for since I was like in preschool. But it, it has been a long, stressful, educational, dangerous, and just fucked up type of type of school years I have been going through I actually made it through I'm so happy that I'm going to be graduating on the 24th of May 24th is my graduation May 22nd is my last day of school my last final for English and I will be done with core school and then I'll be moving on to college on July 12th or I think 21st and I'm going to the Conservatory of Recording Arts and Sciences. Now, if you guys don't actually know me that well, I love music and I love entertainment. I want to do a, I, will, I, I honestly just want to do music as a life career. Maybe not like a professional artist, but being like a music producer or maybe just like a, like a recording artist. Maybe that's if that can bring me somewhere. I just want to be around music because music is honestly what makes me happy. And of course, YouTube makes me happy too. But I'm not up in the top ranks of YouTube commentators to actually make that my personal job. But I consider YouTube right now as a hobby and I will definitely be doing this while I'm in college too. You know, on my free time, I'll definitely be giving you guys some gameplays, staying up to date. I'm going to be moving on my own. It's going to be sad because I'm going to be leaving my family, my mom actually, and my dad. My dad's actually moving down to stay with my mom and I this summer. But when he moves down, I'm going to be moving away. And it's just going to be sad because... Our whole family is just separated now, and it's just, it's just really weird. But it's a strange thing just going to college because it's like, it's a huge step that you've just taken in the world. And, and you, know how, you, know, you know how people say that in high school you figure out who you really are? I don't think that's really true. I think in college is where you actually figure out who you honestly really are. Because at one time in middle school, I thought I was going to be like a hardcore ghetto drug dealer because I used to sell a lot of drugs I used to make about two thousand dollars a month on drugs and which was really bad but I changed my life from that I went to high school I thought I was gonna be a like professional skateboarder or just you know still a drug dealer or just not even doing anything with my life because I was just a bad kid in high school and then now towards the end of high school I basically changed my life and everything I just turned around completely I made a big 180 in my life and now I'm going somewhere with my life and I think that in college is actually where you actually get to figure out who you really are and what your real purpose is here on earth and what God has planned out for you. That's, those are just my thoughts on the whole figuring out your life type of thing. And for my summer plans that I have are basically, 
after Friday on my last day is last day when I graduate after I graduate I am going to be sleeping for a whole month that is it I'm gonna be sleeping for about a month I'm gonna be eating food for about another two and a half weeks I am going to pl be playing Xbox for about uh, 12 days straight and then I will be sleeping for another two days and then I think I'll be going to college. I think those are my summer plans. I don't think I'm going to be going to the beach or anything. I mean, I want to go to the beach. I haven't been to the beach since I was about seven years old, but it's no biggie for me. I don't really care for the beach. I just want to, I just honestly really excited for college. I'm just so excited. I can't wait to get there. It's just going to be, it's honestly just going to make, make my life so much better. Uh, my friend Ricky, actually, he's already in college right now. He's going to Manchester Community College for photography. He's actually a really great photographer. I'll leave his links in the description below. You guys can definitely go check out his photography. He's doing a lot of amazing stuff, photographing, photographing um, professional skateboarders, photographing car shows, etc. Stuff like that. You guys should definitely check him out and go support him. Much love for my boy Ricky. Other than that, I don't think there's really much to say about summer or college or anything. But if you guys have any more questions about college or what I have planned, you know, don't feel to don't feel afraid to not talk to me because you guys can tweet me, you can comment, do whatever you guys like. I love the support, love the comments, love the likes. They honestly really help me out, and they also make me keep wanting to make more because I just love watching and making people happy. And I really hope I don't die right here. That's the you know the spawns change so much on hijack. It's really really annoying, and I hate it so much. And I think in this game, I actually go about, I think it was like 53 and 2. I honestly wasn't counting. I think that was like my second V set. I think that was my second V set of the game. And this game is also also actually old. I prestiged after this game. I think, I think I'm actually just going to keep prestiging because, I don't know, I get bored after I don't prestige and then I'm just sitting there like, oh, okay. What else do I have to work for? Because I don't like doing the gun... I think the, the way that they did the gun challenges and stuff in this game was, like, honestly really stupid. I think the way that they had it for MW2 and MW3 was honestly the best. No, MW2 and Black Ops were the best that they ever had it. I don't know why they had to change it because, I don't know. I just hope in Infinity War doesn't screw up this... Call of Duty goes. I, I hope they don't bring back sniping because sniping is just worse. Anytime you get sniped, you honestly do not have a chance against snipers. If a sniper shoots you long range, you're done. You don't have a chance to like back up, get behind cover, you know, dodge your dick around things and stuff like that. You don't have time. You don't have any time. Snipers are just too overpowered in Black Ops 2. Call of Duty Ghost? Come on, you guys. Think about it. Ghost to Ghost perk. You have like a sniper, cold-blooded MW2. I think it's going to be revolved around sniping and secondary pistols, which is basically like Black Ops 2. All fucking over again. Uh, but, you know, Infinity War doesn't really disappoint their fans or the U or the YouTube or Call of Duty community. So hopefully they pull something out of their asses this year because they're keeping it pretty much under wraps. And they're honestly, they're not even going to be letting anybody know anything, even at the Xbox 720 reveal on May 21st. Oh my god, I totally forgot about that. In the video is about to end too. The Xbox, the new Xbox is going to be revealed on May 21st, which is Tuesday actually. They're going to be giving us, I don't think they're actually going to show us the concert. They're just going to be telling us what it is, what it's going to do. I know for a fact it's going to have Blu-ray. I know it's going to have like one terabyte hard drive. Damn, I died right there. Um, it's honestly going to be the best console. But when I go to college, I'm actually going to buy a PlayStation 3 too. So I'm going to make a... Uh, a new gamer tag or whatever you guys call it for PlayStation. I don't know if I have any PlayStation fans on here. But I'm going to make a new tag for that. The game is over. I'll leave all the links in the description below for the Xbox, for uh, Ricky's Photography, and for the Call of Duty Ghost new teaser trailer. Other than that, I will catch you guys on the flip side. Peace!